All right, welcome back. We continue. Bob Pompey, Andy Jean Carrier. We got a lot of tweets in here. Jason Albert says, Hurdle has clearly been coaching like this is his last year here. Uh, Connor Sidgen says, Flurry, Murray, I don't care. They got to score more than one goal, which is true. I mean, you can't mm -hmm. just score one goal and expect to win hockey games. They need to come up bigger in big situations. Uh, and Darla Bermont says, they're dragging playoffs out too long. Too many days in between. Do you agree with that, Gene? Well, <clears throat> no. Generally, uh, generally it's uh, one day between the games. Once in each series, there are two between the games. But when you get to the finals, these teams are gassed. So yeah, it's extra. You know, just like the NBA is doing. They're just yeah, stretching it out to give them more giving, time. Just giving them more time. You're really run, running down. Vince in Hampton, you're on the sports call. Hello, Vince. Hey, hi, Bob and Gene. Uh, I wish we didn't have to talk about the Pirates, uh, really. I, I know Don't you have a choice. But uh, the, because they're irrelevant, and they will remain irrelevant as long as uh, Bob Nutting owns the team. As far as the Pens are concerned, I think, uh, I think Nashville probably feels pretty confident right now, and that's what I'm concerned about. And I also think uh, they pretty much outplayed us for, for, the, uh, for the four games we've already played. You can make an argument, and thank you for the call, that uh, Nashville has been a better team each of the four games. I mean, there's... No doubt about the fact that they've had territorial dominance at times, and this is what I'm talking about. Their blue line, like the Penguins, you like to start the offense, the back end, Gene. The Penguins, normally with Chris Letang, who's a one-man, just he takes the puck and he goes from one zone to the other, occupying 30 minutes a game, and that makes a trickle-down effect easier. Now they're, they need multiple passes, and they're slow at times getting out of their own zone. True. Uh, the Predators have had a really good forecheck in all the games. They, you know, they easily could have won three of them. I'm not suggesting it should be over by now, but uh, I think Nashville's been the better team. Uh, the Penguins are fortunate that they have two of the last three on the road. You know, I wouldn't put a pass in to bounce back, but, I mean, if I had a guess now, I, I would think Nashville's going to win that series. I, I still think the Penguins are, and I think it'll be in I seven. Know. You said seven Nashville. I said seven Pittsburgh, and I, yeah. and I believe this home ice will serve them well. Uh, and, listen, they got if they should come out, and play, I think, the way they did the first couple of periods last night. I thought they had enough chances to win that game last night, Gene, yeah. which I could not say the night before, which I could not say in game one. You know, last no. night they had legitimate scoring chances, and if, it, here we are now four games into this. If they increase, I think I like their chances. Yeah, I think it depends, you know, as it always does on the goaltending, you know, who's going to bounce back. Murray really needs a much better effort. Rennie is outplaying him right now. Let's go to line one. Rich and Altoona. Hello, Rich. Hello, gentlemen. Thanks for taking my call. Um, how many times do we have to see Murray uh, with the, the puck under the right elbow or it's past his glove? He snapped at that breakaway goal last night after it was in the net. Bob, you asked about lineup changes. I'd go with Flurry. I would. He's better side to side. He doesn't give the top shelf as much as Murray does. That's where I would make my change. I wouldn't have a problem if he did that, but I just don't think he's going to do that. And the other thing I saw on that one goal, which was the Freddie Gaudreau wraparound, Murray seemed a little slow on that one, Gene. Did it appear to you that way? Well, I thought that was a miraculous save. It turned out not to be a save. So um, he, it looked to me like he got there in time, Bob. You hate that call, too, that they blew the horn in the middle of the play. They blew, they blew it in the middle of the play 25 seconds afterward. Maybe tomorrow we'll find out there was a goal scored in game two that should have counted. So let me ask you, if... They didn't have replay. And if you saw that two minutes later, that it was actually a goal, and yet Nashville got denied, would you feel badly? Would you think that no, the game... that's athletics. Bad, bad things happen. You have to outplay that. Yeah, that's the way it used to be for many, many years. And yeah, wasn't that Now it's terrible? changing. The pendulum okay. has gone way in the favor of technology. We're due for a break. We'll take it. Come back with more right after this on Pittsburgh CW.